Should I do that, this, that, and the other? For the most part, he's very cooperative. Uh, he follows, uh, you know, medical direction. He's just like every other president I've taken care of on occasion. I have to get the first lady involved uh, to uh, make sure that, uh, that, uh, that he's taking, uh, that he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's a good patient. Uh, just to make sure we, we're clear on this, uh, when you analyze his cognitive ability or do a lot of neurological functions, that is not the same thing as a psychiatric exam or a psychological exam. It is not. No, it's a, yeah, it's a screening assessment for cognitive impairment. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, Dr. Jackson, does the president do anything at all right now in terms of exercise? What, what, what is his daily exercise routine if there is one? So I would say right now on a day-to-day -day basis, he doesn't have a dedicated, defined exercise program. And uh, so that, you know, th th that's what I'm working on. Uh, the good part is that, uh, you know, uh, uh, we, can, we, can, we can build on that pretty easily. So, uh, <laughs> so, so you, said, you said you were discussing that with him. What, what are you discussing? What would you like to see him start doing? Well, I mean, like I said, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't have a daily exercise, uh, you know, regimen. And he just, uh, he's, you know, some people exercise, some people don't. Some people, you know, just didn't, you know, didn't, uh, you know, haven't done that, you know, as part of their routine. And I would say that's the category he falls in right now. I would say, though, that, uh, you know, despite that, one of the things, being with the president on a day-to-day -day basis that has been impressive to me is uh, he has a lot a lot of energy, a lot of energy and a lot of stamina. And I think I first noticed that, you know, we traveled, we did some overseas uh, tra uh, travel uh, last year. And uh, I was really surprised because I didn't know the president early on. Uh, you know, when uh, w the days we'd, we'd get these 14, 16 hour days and you, the staff is just spent after a while. And you're just like, man, when are we going to the hotel? When are we going down? You know, because you have all the issues of uh, different time zones and things of that nature, too. And I'll tell you, out of everybody there, the president had more stamina and more energy than just about anybody there. And he was the one that was always like, we're not going to skip this event. We're not going to skip this. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And stuck to the schedule despite the uh, urging of some of us to let's just uh, let's just forget the rest of the day. Can you explain to me how a guy who eats McDonald's and <laughs> fried chicks and all those Diet Cokes and who never exercises is in as good a shape as you say he's in? It's called genetics. I don't know. It's uh, some people have, uh, you know, just great genes. You know, uh, I told the president that if he had a healthier diet over the last uh, 20 years, he might live to be 200 years old. I don't know. I mean, um, he uh, he has incredible uh, he has incredible genes. I just assume. I mean, you know, if uh, if I uh, if I didn't watch what I ate, I, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't have in the uh, the cardiac and overall health that he has. So he's very healthy despite those things. And I don't think that he does that anymore. I mean, you know, I mean, he's going to the White House now. He's uh, he's eating what they're with the with the chefs are cooking for him now and they're cooking a much healthier diet for him now and we're going to continue to work on that and make that even healthier but uh, i would say the answer to your question is he has incredibly good genes